Hey guys, Kyle here, and today I have a tree model inside Minecraft, but it is not in my resource packs. And you may be wondering, how is that even possible? If you aren't familiar, there's this resource pack made by Godlander called OBJMC, and he just recently added an update to it that allows you to use player skins and player heads to transfer models between uh, players or between computers, as long as you have access to the internet. So what this addition basically does is it takes his OBJMC shader uh, logic, which reads a uh, texture to display a model, and it applies that to player skins. And so the player, the texture that gives you information about the model is located as a player skin. And as long as you have access to the internet, you can access the player skin. And as long as the skin has been uploaded in the past, you can always access it even if I'm not currently using the skin. So with all that being said, today I'm just gonna show you how to make this basic icosphere example uh, and import it in the game. You can see it's here. I'll just make a blue one uh, to make it different. It's a pretty simple process, uh, but it, might take a, a, it might take a little bit of steps here. Uh, so the first step is to make sure that you have checked out my previous video on the OBJMC uh, resource pack and how that works because you're going to need Python installed in some way. And so I actually have it installed on my base computer. I show using Anaconda, um, but I just have it installed and added to my path uh, because that was easier for other projects I did. Uh, but what you're going to want to do is go to the GitHub in his uh, in the description, which will link you to OBJMC, and then click code and click download zip. It'll give you a zip folder. Unzip it, place the folder somewhere useful on your computer, somewhere you can remember. Now, there are all these cool settings to talk about. I'm not going to talk about them. I'm just here to discuss how to use the player heads module so that you can transfer these models to other people that maybe don't have the model downloaded. And so, to do that, it's really just three steps, and he's made it really simple for you here. Uh, first step is to get your model and then run this line. Uh, so we have a basic icosphere here in Blender, and I'm going to click File, Export, and select Wavefront OBJ. And then I already have exported it here as Untitled, but we'll click Export again. Then you want to put that Wavefront OBJ inside of the same folder as your objmc just to make it easier uh, and so here it is right here untitled.obj we can rename this to icosphere uh, then we want to make a texture for it now if you have a wavefront obj and the model already has a texture associated with it with its uv mapping and whatever then uh, you'll have that texture already but since i didn't put a texture for this uh, it's just if you go into texture uh, render mode, you're going to see that it's just a white sphere. I am going to artificially make a texture for it. And so you just create a PNG that is a 32 by 32. And so that is one constraint of this. The texture has to be 32 by 32. Um, and so I just made 32 by 32 of all one color, which will make the entire icosphere that color. Uh, so then you just save that and close it, go back into your command prompt, and you're gonna copy this first line here, paste it, and replace uh, the model name with the correct model name, so untitled, and then make sure the texture is the correct texture name and the out can be the same. In this case, the ending thing has scale of five. I'm gonna change that back to scale of one. So then you just run this and it should give you a green and tell you how many vertices, how many faces there are, how many heads there are, all that good stuff. Um, but all you need to know is it gives you this command and the command is going to have a bunch of blank spots because it doesn't know uh, the, it, you haven't uploaded your skin yet, and so it doesn't know what the uh, command to use or the link for your skin is. And so what you need to do is then upload the skin to your account. Sadly, to do that, probably the fastest way is to just close out of Minecraft. And so we can take a look at this skin. Uh, we definitely did not use all the pixels available to us, so you probably can make more detailed vertices. I haven't figured out or gotten an answer from him on how many vertices you can use, because uh, obviously there will be a limit with the amount of data pixels you have here, uh, but it's pretty good. Uh, you can always just go with a low poly approach and use multiple components. And so now that we are in the launcher, we can go to skins and you can see I uploaded the icosphere already. I think you can edit skins and so that's kind of nice. So I don't have to make a new skin. And so then I can click save and use and then I can go hit play game. Now on the OBJMC side while my game is working up, 
I'm going to go into here and run the second command he says to use. And you just need to enter your username here, assuming that you are currently using the skin. And once you enter your username, boom, you get your base 64 URL. And then you can go back to your first com uh, console command that you put in and add to it dash skin, and then you can put your username. So you can do dash skin, and then you can put your username if you are currently using the correct base 64 URL. Now, of course, for some reason, I get a weird error. And so if you do get this weird error or there isn't a fix to it this in the comments or something, you can always just paste this original command and you can always copy this base64 URL and do control H, replace the word replace URL with that line. And then you can copy that command from there. It does end up being a really, really huge command. So sharing this with someone might look kind of weird, but I could imagine a world where you have like a website that shows um, these different things, uh, these different models that players can have and they can share them. Uh, so I'm just going to do kill at E type equals not player. And then I'm just going to run this command. And you can see here is our icosphere with a scale of one. It looks very nice, makes is in pretty much proper scale with what I expected to come out. And nobody has to have this, uh, nobody has to have this model downloaded on their computer and I can change my skin back to my classic one because right now obviously my skin is something weird um, but I can change it back to my other and this will remain the correct sphere because it uses the base 64 link that's about it for this one guys I think this is a really cool addition to his uh, original OBJMC pack and I'd be really interested to hear what your guys's ideas are for what you could do with this I think that you could easily use this system to share tons of models amongst each other. Uh, and so like the people on your dev team, if they just want to change, you have a guy working on 3D models, uh, OBJ models, and you have a guy working on the game. And so if the guy working on the game, they don't have to download new models, they just have to change the URL uh, or use a different URL to change the models in the game. So that could be a really nice thing for workflow. Uh, and also for like servers, you can, update uh, models without having to update the server resource pack and make everybody redownload it. So that's also pretty cool. But of course you are limited by the fact that it is a shader. And so there will always be kind of weird things that might happen with the shader uh, if somebody's computer cannot support the GLSL version or whatnot. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.